today. We're going to look at the use of bullet, using bullet points effectively. So how can we use bullet points, what are they, and how can they be used effectively? Now bullet points are usually a small dot like that we put in to separate out some items in a list. Occasionally you might see a little line used instead, or even sometimes a little arrow sign, but usually bullet points look like that. And hopefully at home you have already watched the PowerPoint that we've provided for you. If you haven't, I suggest you pause this video, have a look now, and then I'm just going to go through the last few points that sum up the PowerPoint that you've just watched. First thing, when bullet points mark a list of statements, so a list of statements, a list of facts, a list of statements, you start with a capital letter, you end with a full stop. If it's a list of questions, you start with a capital letter, you end with a question mark. If it's a list of proper nouns, so names, yeah? Names have capital letters, so make sure your proper nouns have capital letters. A list of items can have no punctuation at all, just your bullet point, not even a full stop at the end. Or you can have colon, semicolon, and full stop that was shown in the PowerPoint. But you need to have all three. You need the full stop at the very end after the last one, semicolon after all the others, and a colon to start it all off. Like the one that you showed that you looked at in the PowerPoint, but you need to make sure you've got them all included. The key with bullet points is to be consistent. So if you're not going to put a full stop, don't put it all the way through. Okay? So keep it the same all the way through. I would advise you not to put a semicolon and complicate it. I think it's better not to have your punctuation, just your bullet points and your list. But as long as it's the same all the way through, that's fine. So I would advise you to stick with your no punctuation at all. Okay, for your task today, you've got some sentence starters that are all linked to World War II. And what I want you to do is to choose two or three and write a list and punctuate it correctly with bullet points. Okay.